Hello guys, so I hope you all are doing well and today we'll start with a new question that is find permutation. Now let's see what the question is asking. Okay, so given a positive integer n and a string s consisting only of letters d or i, you have to find any, any permutation of first n positive integers that satisfies the given input string. Okay, uh, d means the next number is smaller while i means the next number is greater. So let's just see one test case. So for n equal to 3 and s is equal to id, okay, so the next number should be increasing and then after that the next number should be decreasing. Okay, cool. So how we'll be appro approaching this question is basically So first thing that we will do is we'll just check that if we got all i's okay so if i am given all i's what will i do so if i have to make a sequence whose next number is like numbers get keep on increasing so for this uh, i have to make it something like this right so i have to start from um, maybe one two three four and five one two three one two three four five and one six because the next number should be increasing right so if i have i i i the answer is something like this now in case i have all d's okay so i have 4d so over here i have 4d so in this case the answer will be so my answer will be something like five four three two one right because i have to like the next value should be lesser than the previous one okay cool so what we have observed is if our sequence is uh, in an increasing order so I, I have to start from the smallest number and if my sequence is in the decreasing order then i have to start from the greatest number now this has made one logic clear that in case i have i what am i supposed to do is i am supposed to just get the highest value that i have okay so maybe like I will start from the lowest value and I will just print just one number greater than that. And for in case of D, I will just print the greatest number that I have. So suppose if we have uh, ID, okay, so in this scenario, a B number will be given to us. So maybe the B number given to us is three. Okay, so what we have to do is we have three, right? So the first thing that I will do, I see a I. So what I will do is I will uh, print the smallest number that I have that is 1 and then I will just increase uh, the small number to the value 2. Now I see D right so as soon as I see D I have to print the highest number so that is 3 and then the only number left is 2 so my answer will be something like 1 3 2. Now let's just check this logic on the test case that was given to us. So 1 3 2 yeah so it works fine. So now what we will do is uh, we will first create a vector okay so result vector now what i'm supposed to do is uh, int small okay so my small integer will be one because i can uh, over here i can see that they haven't included zero right so i have to start with one now the length of the given string s will be always equal to n minus one okay so that okay i am writing in c I, I have to write in c plus plus just give me a second yep cool so my int s is equal to 1 and my int large or the largest number is b right so l is equal to b capital b now uh, for int i equal to 0 i less than a dot size i plus plus right so now in this for loop what i will do is uh, first i have to create a vector as well so i have my vector print v now uh, if if my a of i happens to be as i what i will do is i will just do v dot push back the smallest number that i have s right and after this i will just increase the s by a value of 1 else what i will do else i will just do v dot push back 
the value of d sorry the value of l and i will do l minus minus right so this should uh, do the work for me and in the end i will just re uh, return v okay let us just check the logic once so okay uh, case correctness failed your submission failed for the following input okay oh okay equal to because n minus 1 is given over here right so let's just see yeah so it's done right so this was pretty much it so the only concept that we were supposed to follow over here is uh, I have to take so I have my i okay so over here I have taken s right so I will just keep s so I have my s s is equal to 1 and my largest number is b right so every time I see i over here you can see that the next number should be in increasing order and it is only possible if I have exhausted all the small numbers that I have. That's why I am starting from S and I am doing I plus, I plus, S plus plus after each iteration. And for the other values, the next value to be the uh, smallest or to be the decreasing value, right? Uh, my previous value should be something greatest. So now suppose if I am standing on number line, I have these numbers with me. Okay. So if I want to make sure that after D everything is decreasing, right? Rest of the stuff is decreasing. So I will pick up the greatest number, right? So we have done the same thing. And uh, after we have exhausted this particular thing, now again, if I get a D, then I will be using four because that is now the highest number that I have. So this is the entire logic of this particular question. And I hope you guys liked it. So please do hit the like button and subscribe the channel and please drop your comments in case you have some doubts.